Uh, and we are live with uh, mission five of Showdown at Sundown, part three. That was a bunch of numbers. That's probably wrong. Uh, doesn't matter. Oops. Just get eyes west in this compound. So let's take a look at some U.S. positions here. Starting in the north, looks like Squad Four plus a buddy, but, uh, all the way to the north here. Exist, so it's kind of risky. So you don't yeah. have it up all the time. This is Kuba. Uh, Chef Kuba. And his guys. You see a bunch of INS in the distance here. Got Garrett looking uh, west southwest. Just looking around. Here's the uh, second point. Just Lima Bean chilling. What a mad lad. He's just by himself. He has a GL. So, I mean, you know, he's probably set. The third point here. Hawk dev, fight milk, and flicker. There is a little bit of a deviation here. All right, start sending me contact reports. Guys. It's a very small deviation here, but it looks like the majority of the yeah. INS force are in the north. And I don't see any. I see a, an SPG techie. Yeah, I just checked. They don't okay, give vehicles. I, uh, as long as we're doing part three. Looks like hot. Delta hey, Hawk, uh, Hawk, Looks like one squad's gonna take the northern area. approach. Sure They're gonna just go straight to the Copy northern map border. That will. Getting reports well, of... We know that they know. <sighs> okay. That was, uh... That was a stretch of logic there. That just made my head hurt. Pony's leading a squad of INS here. Let's go over here. Because these guys are probably going to get lit up soon. Uh, looks like Pony is leading a fire team. He's got Muff behind him and Soccer Penguins, Verts, Setish. Right, the squad lead for this element. Echo seven. Seven. Echo seven, area. Seven. Pony's got himself a... Uh, I believe he's got himself a Raider uh, kit. PPSH. In. Oh, and they have Defilade and Cover. But U.S. forces are engaging, and they've already hit Evan. Oof. And Kuba might be uh, throwing a mortar report here. All right, two, keep your eyes open. We need to know if they're trying to push on the south borders. That's, you know, that's a big oof, but no casualties yet. I mean, you know. It's still early on in the round. Rockets. Those seem pretty on point, actually. Okay, four has rocket already on our position. They're hitting us. Okay, now we've got... We got three strong at yeah. F943 on the southern border. Those rockets are a little bit off, but uh, the first ones were actually on target. Pretty good considering it's all the way back here. So this is the technical, uh, I guess this is the technical. So they're not going with the respawn mechanic. So expect to see the uh, the rocket already being used a lot more. U.S. mortars coming in as well. This is providing enough cover so that INS can maneuver their squad to the north here relatively unharmed. Looks like they have a small security force pushing up with the Dishka. This is really good. This is a really good composed, a, uh, a really well composed attack here from INS. It looks like on the dish, we got the Harv driving the truck with salty potato on the gun. 
The mortars were landing close to here. U.S. forces still holding position because they have cover. That rocket landed inside the compound, but doesn't appear to actually have hit anyone. A lot of these rockets are landing overhead. You can see the uh, the rocket trails come in from the right side of your screen here. And mortars landing close to INS right in front of them. But this is plenty of cover. This is all the cover INS need to throw a squad at this northern OP. And there's about a squad size element of fire team plus here north of the uh oh it looks like music's died so that's the first casualty there a rocket uh, shot there Inus forces are uh Getting in position here in the north. F978. F978. Got a squad in there. Mortars seem to be just a little bit behind now, and the Dishka is now opening up. Oh boy. And this, uh, this fire team plus here is in trouble. Rockets landing all around them, and they're getting flanked from the north here. They're getting flanked from the... Well, not getting flanked from their west, but... The main attack here is distracting them enough so that they can't really get their eyes up. Although, Oscar Mike is down. Looks like a Cardi's been hit, too. Okay, never mind, I'm going back. Maybe this, um... And they have a GL firing north, too. Maybe their uh, indoor position here... Oh, ...is stopping them from uh, looking really north here. e trying to throw some rounds towards Fulcrum and a fire team here. Minus Force is really making a big push here. Oh, here comes Pony and Soccer Penguins from the east. In complete cover here. They're running up on Kuba's building. Oh, looks like uh, Pony's going to set a, uh, a time charge here. And Kuba... I don't know if you heard that... Charge being planted. He could uh, get killed here. As U.S. mortars now fall danger close. Ooh, that's cold. If he stays close to that charge, he's dead, man. Whoa, maybe he just got lucky. Not enough bang in that uh, explosive there to actually hit Kuba. This like right up fucking compound. Inus forces now close on the compound. It's all Jenga can do to keep Hyper Evo from poking holes here. Got contact west. So. Hyper's got an RPG for this room. And there goes uh, Jenga. And. Kuba dies to Soccer Penguins and Best Pony. U.S. Mortars are starting to close in on the compounds here. Whose idea was this? The waiters can't. All right, looks like Boris went down. All right, if you watch the north, Garrett, I will try to breach west side or east side. Sorry. And Pony. 
put a charge on the radio, and he's taking down the first OP radio. They're on Chameleon. Yeah, they're on west side, Paul. I'm gonna try and lap them. I'm gonna try and lap them. I'm not gonna get a chance to use this against infantry uh, vehicles. Hold on. Akari taking some shots at uh, Chameleon here through the window, but he thinks he's gonna throw a rocket. Sending it. He's got a uh, Carl Gustav, but I don't think it actually hit anyone. Three, what's your status? I'm hearing grenade detonation. Oh, they're, they're right up the front. They're right outside the cop. Not enough uh, room to arm. U.S. mortars now pounding this position. Burtonizer actually got hit by a frag there. Uh, U.S. forces also being attacked elsewhere. Watch north, you want. INS now have two co uh, patrol points or OPs under their control. We are fucked. Yeah, cam alive. Yeah, I'm up. I'm up. I'm up. I'm up. Mine is just going. That's pony kill on Lima here. Alright, we're not gonna have our flanking helmet, so. Two points down, one more means INS win. Um, or if INS take Cop Sword. So it all yeah, comes down to what the INS plan is, and. Alright, Chameleon. I mean, if I were INS, I would just, you know. Let me know what's going on as soon as you can. I would just take another OP. It seems like the literally easiest thing to do at this point. Um, we are so fucked. I'm so fucked. Sweat. Oh. Acardi's still throwing west. rounds at Gar. Yeah, nice. I, oh, I was gonna say that was Acardi, but Eva Hyper Evo just died. Oof. Ooh. <laughs> Board around hits two dishkas, but uh, or two technicals rather. Oddball runs in. They're fucking surrounding us. The east, two, you're yeah. gonna be the flanking this element. You're gonna push through. I gotta reload. Eight, northeast, and then start engaging from that. Oh, Bert and I are gonna throw a grenade yeah, in. So. That's a nade. Nade, 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 nade. 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 Not yet. Good. Unlucky, it landed on the little oh, pedestal there. Ran right up. Burtonizer eyeing up a uh, chance to take Efank here. Chameleon's got the uh, follow on shot. While well, that's all happening, right outside of the south. INS forces beginning to right. assault the third One's point. Walking. Oh fuck! There's no way they don't need me. More U.S. Oh, mortars just... here. My hands are so sweaty. Same, dude. Like, I'm gonna wipe off my hand. Look. Two, give me a stat. We have chameleon. All right, we're gonna move down to the third oh, yeah. point here. They're jumping, they're jumping. Nothing really doing there. Fulcrum's got a fire team pushing this third point from the north. And U.S. forces here are in a zero, <laughs> zero real defensive positions here. Seeing shit in the fields, or if I'm really just that crazy. Check fight milk. You're crazy. Where the grass moves right, makes me think I'm seeing squad. stuff, man. I mean, at this point, he actually is. Nope, you're not seeing anything. Yeah. <laughs> you're not seeing anything. Entire INS fire team goes through <laughs> the hole in the wall. Oh, man. Just like they just threw an RPG in here from the north. Hawk just ate a, uh, e -A -A explosive, uh, launched ordnance. Oof. 
So this is the radio here that INS are going to be uh, having to take down. Vlad dies. Ooh, that might have been a TK. Alright, that'll be the third radio we lost, guys. Um... We can't really afford to lose it, but... It is what wait. Wait. If INS take this radio, that's the end of the game. Shit ton of digging next round. So if you don't want to do that, the radio. Otherwise, call the... Wait, that's it. The game, the round is over. If INS actually dig this radio, unless I'm missing something, we check the rules. Keep hammering that compound at Echo Nine Three or Echo Eight Nine Three. And uh, if, if INS to eliminates to three OP locations or cop sword, mission ends with INS win. So, yep, the game is over for round one here. Um, if this radio is dug up. So, because the radio in the north is gone, and the second radio is gone, once this radio gets dug up, Three, set up that new that's it. Team that just fell back. Set them up to cover the, uh, the swamp area. Pretty quick around, all things considered. It's only been about yeah, 20 minutes. Not even. Uh, I think we went live at um, 40. Yeah. 17 minutes right now. Uh... INS forces sending SPG rounds far, just trying to suppress. INS doing a really solid job here of exploiting this, uh... This defense here. Oh, UJ Key and Tinkerbell eat part of those, uh, part of that volley there, uh, UJ Key actually eats the entire, um, the entire thing there. Ines could get very unlucky here if they uh, aren't able to get inside. Godzilla Pro. Is hurt, but he's not bleeding from that last mortar volley, and he's next to the building with the uh, the radio. And Revy is on it now, so Godzilla actually taking a uh, bit of damage there from that mortar. Eleven kills for US, six kills for INS. So it's not all peachy keen. I think Godzilla Pro just died. I think Godzilla Pro just bled out. Revy is still up and he's digging this radio and if this radio's dug, that'll be the end of round one. You take a look at the positions here. Highness were able to sneak in and actually clear the northern point. But they weren't able to uh, clear all the infantry out. The infantry are now running south like mad people. Um, the second point is completely gone. And the third point is being dug by uh, Revy. US response relied on. I think they relied too much on the indirect fire, too much on the mortars. And they uh, definitely didn't use their MRAP to try to respond. But even so, I mean, the MRAP was just simply outgunned. There's the radio, so that should be GG. That's the end of this uh, mission. INS have completed it. So... Now we're just going to be waiting for the admins to uh, close this guy out. What is this? This is a campaign we were doing here on Squad Ops. This is part of, uh, part three rather, a mission of the... Not the game, but the commentary. I'm playing the commentary. I'm, I'm playing the commentary. I'm doing the commentary. And the game hasn't been called yet, even though INS have completed the mission.
Ascending 3 to Foxtrot 814. Then going to be sending some to E837 and then F978. Just going to mark those compounds. Contact the E732. Four, you're coming right up on them. Four currently has no command. Come. Okay, well. All right, so. Yep, four is uh, on their own. The um, okay, the INS forces are going to have some time here to try to take Cop Sword, I think. Hopefully, they'll do some damage. Looks like. Looks like the. Um, U.S. forces are going to have some more time to, to defend here. INS forces have a little bit more drive in them. So let's take a look at the INS position right now. There is an out-of-position U.S. element that's actually... That actually could do some damage here to 4. Matter of fact, 4 squad lead is uh, already dead. Uh, fire team leader is now in charge. 1, how is my north looking? Or, how's my northeast looking? 3 has a significant uh, lead over here. Looks like... What element is this? Two best ponies now in charge of the other element. So, INS have significant problems when it comes to their... chain of command. Um... Revy's actually just laying down here. He's on command comms, but he's about to get shot in the back once, uh... Yep. There you go. So... Oof. So, uh, looks like that squad's gonna continue going here. Like I said, the, um, INS are pretty, um, are pretty disjointed right now. Looks like vehicles have gone back to get supplies and to get rearmed. So apparently that's a thing that's happening. Oh yeah, of course it's a thing that's happening, because look, they have, uh... They have a vehicle, uh, repair. Yeah. Honestly, can't tell anyone. That's so yeah, nuts right now. Towards us. Um... Oh, we don't have they, they comms either. Yeah, they're hitting the buildings to our south. Two, try to get into position. Gary, you with Where you can flank whatever what? is engaging yeah. three right let's, now. Let's... Uh, Possibly oh, shit. push on that map board. Let's, oh, why did me to do that? Fuck. You fake trying to look here. Wow. Don't see anything. Let's take a look at the cop sword location. Volcom has a fire team that's actually starting to assault right now. They're within about 150 meters. Oh, it looks like a GL. Maybe if you're getting fired up here. Yep, we're gonna go mapper. Going to Bravo. Maybe don't get shot, saw him. They're coming through the north all the wall northwest north. Liberal definitely saw these guys. GL's firing out. That one seemed to be a little bit too far. Contact southwest and three on the point. Two, I'm sending in a red down. Here comes two um, SPG techies. And the rockets are now starting to land in the compound here. We'll see here in a second. Oh, the AMRAP's getting moved. Oh, it looks like Modern Death is driving the AMRAP for Bartok Warrior. And they're gonna flank around the side here. Get a little bit of inflating fire. Fulcrum eats a couple of mortar shells there. And he's dead. So now it's just Lekitude and Deathcon. They just jump a wall. Um... Frost takes down Deathcon. Legadu jumps back out, but it looks like he's wounded. INS forces pretty shattered at this point. 22 kills for US, 7 kills for INS, so... Not exactly a... A lot of kills for INS, but... The mission is done. So... INS are gonna have the upper hand next round for sure. Uh, 
like a dude goes down to frost. U.S. taking a, um... Oh, that's interesting. They're moving in? What is Accardi doing? Accardi's... Uh, NSA spy is in his field here. SBG techies are just firing into this area here. Uh, that's not good. U.S. Entire U.S. squad here, living life. Uh, NSA spy dies to Accardi though, so... Patrick Star down. Looks like one of the... Grenades being thrown by Imanaz. Oh, maybe one of them actually just got hit there. No, no, he's, he's, no, he's already dead. Mm. So what are they gonna do? They're gonna get out of the. They're gonna get out of there or try to move those vehicles. Akari's got this back injured. It's covered though. Grunt's dead. Let's go to see, so that's an air. Rockets are landing elsewhere, but INS aren't going to have the numbers to really Keep make a down. big stand. Well, if you want to do some crazy shit, look back. There's Diggs. Uh, Cardi went up the stairs here. Stoop Kid's just right below him in the hole. Is the Cardi gonna know the Stoop Kid's below? Much right next to us, uh, just south. Right, we're four strong. South of the building. Stoop Kid's the got the, the wrong idea here. Doesn't know he's on top of him. It's only one guy. Nah, you do. Well, this one guy, this one guy with an AR. Yeah, we get more just confirmation of how they... yeah. U.S. mortars are landing, uh, closer to the... Oh, look at Stalker. Here comes the, uh, SPG crew. Oh! You got him? You got a bandage? It's to our right, to our right. There's at least one left. Alright, two, give me an update on what's going Walking south, two. Stoop kid with a, uh, killer position right here. Got three down. Pretty sure I heard that might be it. From, I think that's it. I need to just change my position. Uh, I think it's time to start prepping to pull out. Two's getting shredded. Alright, we can south. pull back now. Yeah, we should. You can watch the game here, Yeah, do it. I'm not sure if it's friendly. Alright, just be, be still, be still, be still. Don't move them. Could be friendly. Or the, it could be the sounds of the mortar fall. Looks like it's just, uh, Scott's chap just, just, uh, just hanging out. 27 kills for US, 4 kills for INS. No, I definitely hear movement. Um... INS pretty wrecked right now. Your Nightmare, Lex Ryan, Salty Potato, as well as, looks like a Razor. Still moving about the map. I don't see any other INS forces aside from uh rather Scottish chap here. And he's falling back. I don't think he uh, uh fancies his chance here. K9, pull your buddy team or once three gets set up in that early compound, pull your buddy team from there to the uh, southern compound. Wow. U.S. are retreating more forces back to Cop Sword. I don't know, man. This is kind of nuts. U.S. Um, basically giving up their forward positions here entirely. Um, the remainder of the forces down here that engage the SBGs 
are still here. They haven't left yet. That's also because I think they are, they suspect they're being just watched. And to think Inus had a chance to respawn in this map. Guessing the admins let him finish it out since it went so quickly. I mean, it's a fair guess. Um, I wouldn't imagine we'll be here at this point. I mean, I wouldn't imagine it'll take too much longer. Um, the U.S. forces are definitely on the back foot for the next mission. I'm going to take a look here between oh, shit, those guys and the intermission just to make sure what uh, what all is going on here for the next mission. So many, just like with any campaign, if you guys have basic, if you guys have access to Discord, I would highly recommend checking the operation announcement just to see the document that goes into a campaign like this. Um, because it's like 50 some pages and there's a lot of there's a lot of things that go on here a lot of a lot of uh modifications go into our uh campaign just considering you know you're the fdl um, previous good. events, oh, basically, is the Jeez, big thing. Is that Razor taking shots at these guys? Yeah. That Razor throwing smoke. It's kind of interesting. It makes them actually exponentially safe. How long does SOT take to do? Uh, yeah. basic? Basic takes about an hour and a half tops. Shouldn't kill a nine throwing rounds down range. Kill and I look for tracers. Some were coming in, but I mean now he's just shooting at whatever he wants to, I guess. Come with me. Big shrug. We're going. We're going south. Got it. Uh, remainder of INS forces using the road to the south of Comp Sword. Dude, if INS, if INS clear this fob, I mean, how insane would that be, A? And B, oops. I mean, I don't know what else you could say. If they clear the fob at this point with the casualties they've taken, I don't know, man. It's a real big, uh... I don't know. Inus Force is starting to make some progress here make towards sure Cop's Sword. And... I'm not sure how many people are actually watching this direction. Oh, Londarts is actually pretty close here. He's on the mortar. He's gonna hear... That's close. Yeah, we got contacts. Lex just runs up on the mortar. There goes Londarts off the mortar. Lex is now in the town. Hacky Macky goes to town. Liberals inside the uh, the building here. Lex is going after him. Liberals dead. Lex Ryan clearing three right now. Oh, Kanan's on this roof. Is Lex gonna go upstairs here? Make sure they bring forward. Uh, INS forces making significant progress clearing this out. At least the main part of the compound. If they take this radio down, I mean, I don't know. K9 had Lex's number 
since he moved over to the door. Command just killed one inside my building, possibly to your east and southeast, just outside. The uh, MRAP is coming back over to guard the north, uh, sorry, the uh, the southeast entrance to the compound. Kilo 9 just ate a rocket. And Sugar, the commander here, they're trying to throw rockets up here. Just killed one beneath you, Sook. Copy. Maybe uh, we're getting close to the end here. Rather, Scott's chap. The deal sounds to be coming from the northwest. Yeah, I think it's from. Yeah, well, I think the Rather, Scott's chap is the last guy left here. He's got a rocket out. Where is he going to shoot it? He fires it a little bit too close there. I think that was a heat round. Chap now down to his um, rifle. And we'll be uh, very shortly coming up on the end of this round. Guys, chat, just taking shots at Shigart's little uh, tower there. GL's just not really on target. And there we go. Finally, it looks like uh, someone ended him. I don't know who that was, but that is GG. Uh, US failing to hold their. Um, failing to hold their OPs. Alright. We're going to be following INS, round. but we're going to listen to this brief. Part, uh, we didn't keep our OPs quite as long as we needed to. Uh, so we essentially allowed more enemy support assets to enter the battlefield. So this round, we need to hunt those things down and destroy them. Uh, they are located somewhere west of the Delta Echo line. Uh, we're going to clear pretty much that entire area. Uh, the way that we're going to do that is that we're going to set up OPs on high ground up in Echo 795, or Echo 794. Marked. And then down in Gulf 91. And then we're going to form essentially a platoon line in between those two points. Once we located an area that we suspect contains enemy rocket artillery, uh, we are then going to start maneuvering in that position. There's going to be a lot of compound clearing, a lot of moving through fields, but the thing to remember is do not clump up. We are going to be facing a high volume of enemy rocket fire. Um, if you clump up, you will get destroyed. The enemy is probably going to try to slow us down as much as possible and then zero in their artillery onto us. If you're crossing fields or any open area, Without good cover, make sure that you have at least 30 meters of spacing between. Do not stand next to your buddy. You will get killed. And if you don't, your buddy's going to get killed. Um, so, yeah, make sure you are, uh, when you're clearing compounds, make sure that you're doing it as a team with buddies. Don't do it alone. Um, fire team leads, make sure you guys are spread out. And again, we're going to try to find them first. We're going to fix them, and then we're going to destroy them. Does anybody have any questions so far? Seems pretty straight forward. Raising your hand you have questions, don't do that. All right, guys, uh, go ahead and get ready for live. Squad leaders, you're going to have to give your guys some more specifics. Right, and here we go. We're live. Ines moving out to secure okay, some forward three, positions. Two, three, Get your, gun out, get your gun out, and we are live with mission six of our campaign showdown at sundown. The first rocket is away. Here comes another one. I didn't work, Admin. I'll just have to. 
Where the hell? I think I, I think it's fixed. Once I got a vehicle, I think I'm good. Wait. There is a dead man already. There is. There are several dead people already. What in the world? Four kills for INS Rocket Techie. <laughs> and the round has just started. Wow. Well, when the U.S. started in one place, I mean... I mean, look at the spread, by the way. Guarantee you, there's been, like, zero movement from Stalker on the on the rocket pod. The spread is about, looks like, 50, 60 meters, even more. Now it's starting to look like he's starting to, uh... He may be starting to move the pod a little bit. It's still about a... Like a 120, 130 meter spread there at this range. It's almost like max range. We'll take a look at US positions. They're moving in. We're close to about 600 meters to contact here. Squad 2, Tedish, the main heavy squad for the INS. They're starting to get in close here, but there's two squads of uh, US folks moving in. Yeah, that is four kills for INS already. But that seems to be just right out of uh, the gate here. So, not much the U.S. can really do about that aside from just not move out, I guess. No, yeah, that's, I that's not can. legit, because that's not a... No one said no yet. Well, watch the southern. <laughs> it's true. No one said no yet. INS forces preparing to receive U.S. presence right, yeah. into their lives. Yeah, there's a bunch of rooms Rockets here. going out like clockwork right now. Uh, the significance of the rockets still being fired here is that the INS don't know where the US are yet. They have no contact. Once INS get into contact with the U.S., um, INS can start, or can, rather, they can stop firing rockets. Okay, Mike, I want you sitting over here. Where? Sit here and watch this contact. door. Here we go. Contact report in. Okay, I got it. Tedish has it. Copy that, southeast, east of you. Get ready, yeah, copy that. Alright, oh, yeah, uh, give coordinates. Um, I got the oh, nuclear. Away. Unless you're, like, shooting people. Oh, they're really close. Uh, nuclear adding fire from the, from the, uh, hill here. Cause this muff to back up. Those are from our south, I think. South, southeast. Yeah, they are. Southeast. Hey, watch the door. Oh, I'm definitely gonna kill them if they come. Yes, Echo 954 to Echo 958. Oh, the AR has got himself a pretty narrow uh, field of engagement here, but it's still pretty strong considering how far it reaches. And if I, if the US are gonna take this position, they're definitely coming this way. At least. Copy that too. Are you and these rockets are going to be my end. Two has two squads running down on them right now. That is insane. I'm calling it. They hit me in the top of the head. Insane in the membrane. Nuclear Potato is still taking some pot shots here. And Stoop Kid seems to be joined in as well. Never mind, Stoop Kid's not doing anything anymore. He's done. Two, use the red comms one. 
that's going to cause uh, nuclear potato to come back. Got it. Oof. Eating pussy like it's Oreos. You ready? No, you ready? Fucking no. I really hope he card got that. I hope he did. Yeah. Kiss. <laughs> That's all I'm going to have to say oh, about boy, really <laughs> That's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Uh, US making some real progress here. They pushed their squad up against the wall and they're just leapfrogging holes in the wall. I think Muff just died. Ouch. Unfortunate. Uh, US with the GLs, they're moving in here. Bacon Batman, YOLO around the corner. No one in front of them right now. Oh, uh, looks like the rockets are starting to fire on US position here. Or maybe they're just still a little far. Oh, here we go. Money Man is going to, uh... Oh, boy. Have a chance here. Evan is definitely have probably is definitely heard chicken and big Batman along with not an NSA spy grunt definitely to come up here now. Ooh, not an NSA spy gets Evan. So that's that's a rough trade. Money man able to get bacon first. So money man switches positions here. Ooh, there you go. Nice shot on Grunt. The chicken just gonna do the same thing here? Nope. How about a grenade? Wouldn't that be smart? Tim, did Evan really die on- They're actually trying to throw grenades at Money oh. Man, but it looks like a little far. Money Man now realizing that Evan's dead. Oof. And he's alone. Yeah, he's kind of cut off here, but he's not really cut off. I mean... He has to abandon the position. The problem is... Uh, nuclear potato. Oh, he's actually, looks like he's actually in charge of the squad now. So he's got to deal with command at the same time. Chicken and Diggs are still hanging out. The uh, second squad that's moving west here for US hasn't really... I hear moving. They're coming up to the door. Soccer penguins here's movement as U.S. start throwing grenades over the wall. Soccer penguins takes a frag. Pony takes out Bartok. Oof. And U.S. forces just throw all the rounds in this direction. And Pony just backs into Frost. Unfortunate. It's kind of crazy that Frost and Hacky Macky just walked past, like, this room and didn't clear it. Um... The, uh, Rocket Arty folks are trying to get updates here. Tedris is still up. Not able to give um, Fuck, adjustments for the for the rocket arty. Great shot there from Verts. He takes a bullet, but he takes down Diggs and Chicken has a bullet in him. Chicken stabilizes here. What is it? He's got a Carl Gustav, and he's not throwing frag rockets. Into the well, actually, you know what? That makes sense now. That I think about it. Um, oh, Frost you taken down by a Cardi. Verts goes down to chicken. Oh, here we go. No, he thought about putting a uh, frag rocket in there. 
two squads still in the north here, but this uh, squad, the, the force in the south is pretty much done. Chicken dies to soccer penguins as Chicken tries to come around the room here. Um, it's just Hacky Macky, Don't Get Shot, Kilo 9, and Lawn Darts here in the south. Remains for U.S. Uh, let's see what Don't Get Shot does. If the U.S. were smart, they would just abandon this position, but... But they would at least fall back. Don't Get Shot moves into the compound. The Soccer Penguin C. Well, uh, nope. Lawn Darts eats a rocket, though. Unfortunate. Soccer Penguins is dead, but Lawn Darts is dead, so... Looks like it's just Kilo 9. Yeah, hold it. Don't get shot in Hacky Macky, although a well-placed rocket could kill all three of these guys. More rockets are actually landing a bit further to the east here. Doesn't seem to be on target. Oh, Money Man actually takes out Hacky Macky. And he hits Kilo 9. Great thinking by Money Man here to start checking the backside of the compound. Don't get shot. The only one left, and he's running away. The uh, the push here in the south goes very badly for U.S. forces, and I think that's going to really seal their fate here. Ines not taking very many losses at all. 17 kills for Ines, 5 kills for U.S. right now. It's nuts. So about two squads worth of U.S. forces in the north. Yep, and here we go. Hyper Evo has got eyes on. I got eyes on them already. They're in the oh. trees. They're in the building over there. Across he doesn't the, notice uh, the forces the close to him. Efank could probably See throw it. around this way, or maybe a rocket. Um, if he's... Thinking about it, you think it looks like he's have, looking at the minaret, but um, I have hyper. You pull back. No, nope. close, 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 close. 50, yeah. 49, close, 49. Very close. Why don't you start this wall over here? There we close, go. Close. Hyper sees him. Hyper sees him now. So hyper and Lego dude. Or sorry, hyper and Deathcon. Deathcon gets hit. Deathcon's dead. Never mind. Maybe hyper can actually do something here. Maybe he trades a bullet for a bullet. Hyper is getting out of there. Hyper runs into bullets. I gotta reload. Man, I'm pushing out of having aid. Do you want me to Rockets are landing uh, way further south here. Okay, Hyper, we're Yeah, run. probably should. Run. Go, 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 let's go, go. Let's go. go. Let's go. We're pulling west. Copy, west. We gotta get to these trees real quick. Or we gotta get to these, uh, lower bunkers real quick. Copy that. Yo, they got smoke.
they're they're moving left it? towards the compound. I see them. them. Yeah, they have no idea where that came from. Yeah, they're shooting lots at two, I think. Can we get another? F Does anyone have a sandbag? We need a sandbag on this position. I don't think we have a sandbagger. Copy. All right, get inside. Charlie, once you're... Get down, get down! What direction? It's coming from so north three zero. Excuse me. Be careful, the roof hey, is very Hey, there's two more ran in there. Two more ran in there. Flight like of your team comes running. back. There is a little bit of fire being traded now. Uh, I guess the INS, or I guess the ID decided not to be a thing. Question mark. Or they blew it and, well, I don't know, actually. Does it make sense? Uh, INS force is starting to shoot back now with a little bit more confidence. Oh, and the rockets are starting to come up here too. Um, rockets are going to have to little, do a little reposition here. Now that they're in the... Ooh, look at that. Looks like the rockets are still off. They're shooting in between the two elements what right now. Dude, I peeped this, I'm going to die. the binos as the tracer went right into my Ooh, those rockets are on target. <laughs> the US commander is part of that element too. Ooh, Lima Bean takes a rocket right at his feet. A rocket lands right in the uh the hallway here and Lima Bean just oof. Oof supreme. More rockets inbound. A wall. About, that's probably about a quarter of a salvo. More rockets incoming. Really making U.S. think twice here. And I think the U.S. are, uh... I think the U.S. are starting to realize they have a pretty weak position. A rocket lands inside the compound. Chameleon takes a near-direct hit and has to bandage. Kuba, Beef Baby, and Efank just gonna run it, and they're starting to take fire. Oh, if there's a salvo that comes in, looks like they may have missed it. U.S. forces really starting to move out here. Music dodging bullets, man. So there's two squads now moving independently here for U.S. One squad moving west, one squad moving south. Sugar takes a uh, bit of a rocket there. And so does Garrett. He think now thinks he's safe enough to start shooting back, and he's taking fire, but... More rockets shooting back here. They're getting closer. Ooh. Does Hyper know what's going on to his east? Nope. Hyper's looking at the squad that's moving to his north. Are these guys stuck? There's one hole in the wall. And Vladi Putin isn't covering it right now. Vladi Putin exposed here. If a GL had half a mind to throw the lava grenade up there, 
to be done. Vlad falls back, but he's going back and forth here. Vlad is actually engaging more of the squad to the northwest here. Although he is in real danger of being shot close now. Whoa, Fight Milk is actually running up to Hyper Evo. Hyper sees a gun barrel, so he's starting to really get into it now. And Hyper really stuck out here. He's got to... Well, he decides to leap out there, but... Unlucky, Fight Milk's, Fight Milk's looking right at him as he comes around the corner. The rockets are now a little over now. Update on kills. Um, 19 kills for INS, 7 kills for US. And US now in frag range here. Starting to get into a range where it's ineffective to fire rockets and it's potentially more dangerous for your own forces. So the rocket already is just going to saturate area to make sure the U.S. aren't um, tempted to go there. U.S. forces making progress on the west side. They're starting to move south of... Um, Rather, they're starting to move south of beam of, uh... Monolith. I can't confirm the GL. GL's coming in, though. And... This is gonna cause a problem for this, uh, troop here. It's kind of under strength. And, wouldn't you know it, Tedish has his fire team Element, uh, moving over to assist. And there's still, like, an entire squad and a half in reserve at uh, the main INS point. Rocket's still coming in, still a little off target. Uh, Dev took a shot there, but... Uh, looks like he's okay in the medic right next to him, so... I don't know who it is that's shooting. I'm just shooting at where the enemy might be. Interesting. So, Oddball is getting super paranoid now. Two has had our flank proper, so he's six up behind. I mean, I would say he's getting paranoid, but he has the right idea. Maybe he was taking shots to his northeast. Shigart's crawling, trying to keep himself hidden. Uh, Shigart's not looking at anything in front of him. Squad 1 for US is still pretty intact. I mean, look at it. There's... Uh, there's 8 of them here. They've only lost... Sorry, there's 7 of them here. Looks like they've only lost a couple people. Squad 4, on the other hand, a little bit more heavy on the losses. Six of them are working the west side. They're moving way far south now. They're starting to move far south of the f advanced forces, but there's still a fire team in reserve. That'll probably spot them here in a second. Uh, INS forces still holding position, and this U.S. squad is still doing the same thing. Shigart's trying to get eyes on where to move next, but it doesn't seem to be like the sheer play here. Rocket's starting to get close to uh, U.S. forces along the wall. But yeah, north northeast. The RNG of those rocket RNG of the rocket pods is. Starting to get um, into a very dangerous proposition for INS forces to, to keep deploying the rockets so close. 
I would have to say that it's could be at some point you're just going to uh lose here he thinks dead here this flank is down to five people for us he think looks like he got caught out by the defense force of and here comes our smoke marker from garrett and everyone's off the rocket techies you just heard the uh, ins command alpha wants the full defense on their point here and looks like this u.s element is just going to skirt around continue continue to skirt around here to the west oh here comes the rest of the u.s forces <gasps> look at tedish tedish is moving in behind him whoa Now, Tedish could get shot in the back if he doesn't get his element moving fast right now. Uh, you can see a Cardi now moving in the front side of your screen, but uh, U.S. forces could very well clear that field that they're behind right now and get direct eyes on, even though there will be a little bit of a range here, but... Ines could very easily That's a different squad. Uh, get shot in the back there, but U.S. forces close to the five point. This is yeah, everyone that's here. So. Say again. Winding down here for mission six of the campaign. They're trying to throw rockets this direction now. Well, that's mainly because they have a defensive element that they don't want to actually deploy. So... Those guys are just gonna keep windmilling. Um... Hmm... Looks like INS Force is getting shot. At... Or they're no, rather, they're shooting US Forces. Maybe one element got pinned. Uh, meanwhile, this uh, fire team of four are down here for US starting to make progress. Two has spotted them. So Lex Ryan and uh, uh, your nightmare, the, the only ones really defending this position right now, and Lex Ryan's looking away. Oh, they have pretty Copy good deflate here. Uh, oh, sure and your nightmare's not even looking either. Look at this ditch right there behind right now. Uh, we have some movement around us. We've got unit flanking right now. I'm trying to get eyes right now. Saw a copy. Two is on the trail of US-4, and the rest of the US-4-1 yeah, is starting to move south here. They just decided to stop uh, being around the bush there, running around the peninsula. All right. They're starting to make some real progress here using this ditch to get closer. Yeah, we're looking for him. And now they're in the open. So it's just a big question mark of who's going to uh, start receiving fire. And it looks like Jenga's going to start shooting at the fob. Revy gets hit. Oh. Those rockets are so close to team killing. Stalker is playing it very dangerous there with that rocket. Uh, man, those rockets. I don't know, man. Oh, Lex finally kills Jenga. Oof. Uh oh, it looks like Tinkerbell and Boogie got into contact here on the north side of the fob. Boogie's been hit, Hawk goes down, and Boogie has to bandage. Looks like Clay is the only closest one here. Oh, is Dev still up? Dev is still up, and he's moving back to catch up here, it looks like. He 
Phoenix, cut back up with the clay chair. Two is down, estimated buddy team still out there. Copy that. Two able to close in from behind here in the south. But they lose their squad lead in the process. And Chameleon, Garrett, and Kuba are just holding pretty fast right now. I'm in the valley. I'm in the valley. Oscar Mike is the closest one to contact, but he knows if he stands up, he's going to get shredded. I guess he doesn't have a grenade either, because, man, wouldn't it be great to have a grenade right now? Cardi's got a bipod. Oh, man. He's just going to be sitting here waiting for kills to show up in front of him, I guess. Oh, now they're shooting rockets this way, and the U.S. are falling back. Should I throw one? Okay. I was looking the wrong direction. I thought you said it went 20. Should I start crawling back to you or should I just hold? Three, what's roughly the size of the contact here northeast? Uh, we had one KIA out there. Uh, possibly buddy pair again, check now. Copy that. What a shot from McCarty. Takes down Kuba. Command, we are losing a lot of guys in the south. Copy that. Two, do not push. Uh, U.S. forces in pretty, the, uh, pretty down, down to the right wire here. Looks like maybe six left back, uh, altogether. Maybe five left. 24 kills for INS. 11 kills for U.S. right now. Maybe a bit more than that. Two, four, Command, six, eight. Okay, so there's eight left. Copy that, too. Uh, either hold there or try to hold back. Looks like uh, Garrett and Chameleon able to sneak on by this time. Kuba just stuck his head up in the wrong place. Four, I need you to start moving and got swagged for it. Forces lost in the north here. Tinkerbell just gone down. Boogie is still up though. Dev is dead here for US. So Boogie is just really the only one holding it. He has a scorpion against rifles and I guess he's got a rifle in front of him. He doesn't have any ammo? No, he's got his cell phone. Okay, he blew an IED. I thought it was a knife. That's gonna be like, he's just gonna run up to Clay J and knife him? Ooh, crazy move. Three and one, we're gonna try to turtle up a bit more. Um, one, two, just focus on defending tactics. US making it this far, I mean... It just had to, it had to deal with where they pushed through. It's kind of like a reverse of the previous operation, right? Because in the previous in the previous mission, U.S. had to defend five forward points, and they also had to defend their main spawn point. But U.S. decided to just simply withdraw, um, and they didn't consolidate their force to the other points. They consolidated their force back to their main point, fearing that INS forces would be really starting, would be really wanting to take that instead of just I'm taking dead, an easier up. win. Um, my heart's pumping, help. I suppose, my opinion, you know. Is that you, Oddball? Disclaimer, disclaimer. Oh my god, oh, oh Flag! Oh, my saviors! I got him. Did I get him? He's dead! He's him? dead! You killed nice. him! Nice, alright. Nice. Well, Silas is still out here, rolling around. He's starting to get close now. There is some shots taking place. U.S. forces starting to really fall apart here. Looks like it may be down to Sugarheart and these four guys. Uh, looks like Sugar and Don't Get Shot are here. Is Oofball with you? Is Oofball with you. Nice name. Sugar and Don't Get Shot, they're far to the east here of the main radio. But looks like they're starting to uh, come back around. 
Silas has fallen back. It looks like he's going to try to hook back up with Garrett and Chameleon. And Garrett and Chameleon are starting to get a little bit more confident here in the southwest. They're starting to push back up towards uh, the INS presence. Using a ditch, which is not as deep as they think it is, but I guess it's enough for them. They're still waiting on, I guess they're waiting on Silas to catch up. Silas is almost here. Now they're just being careful. nearly to the end of this round so round one may have technically ended quick but uh you know round two oh, an open-ended attack Ooh, patrick star just gets destroyed by silas at range and then silas takes a shot looks like that might have been from boogie or oddball might have been oddball unfortunate another casualty for us us down two four the only one's left, Sugar and don't get shot. And Garrett along with Chameleon. Alright guys, I think we only got a, some light contact here or there. INS Force is starting to secure everything they can. The only ones that aren't are... Um, they're starting to just move around behind Garrett here. And Chameleon just isn't pushing forward, but INS forces are definitely willing to just sit there and let the U.S. try to push into them. Uh, at least on the west. Garrett stands up and takes out Vladi Putin. Oh no. Yeah, that was Vladi Putin. Oddball still appears to be up. Maybe Garrett's going to move in now. This is where I just lost the guy somewhere to my east to my south southwest. Copy for and uh, Garrett not done with these kills here, trying to get some more uh, INS deploy smoke. I guess Garrett's out of HE. Rounds coming in at Garrett. Appear to be misses. Uh, meanwhile, Shigheart and Don't Get Shot getting closer, and Chameleon just gets destroyed on the wall. Oddball and Garrett having a little fight here. So, um, what's next for Showdown and Sundown? Well, there are... Um, I guess there's one mission left, question mark? Copy that three. Uh, start shifting guys out to the west. I think the last remnants are on the No, there's uh, two missions like left. So maybe there's right. another part in the future. Are the bullet physics in this game? There's definitely a drop off. Uh, velocity is definitely nah, get nice personal with them. Uh, a factor. Each Scottish. round has different penetration, so. Um, it's not like 100% like crazy physics modeled simulated thing. Ooh, Alpha Guido just got shot up. So that's INS Command is dead. Trying to run after the last guy. And there goes Garrett as Burtonizer and Fulcrum. Finally gained an advantage over the last US soldier in the West. Shukart and Don't Get Shot. Now the last two US soldiers on the map. Shigart adding smoke here. It looks like Don't Get Shot doing the same. They're going to come up over this wall, and... I suppose that'll be it. Bullet physics, definitely, um... Something you don't really think about past, um... 100 meters, or but rather before 100 meters. Once you get to 150, 200, you start having to actually compensate for it. But... Even then, a lot of the weapons that you fire that you would fire at that range consistently, um, they all have sight uh, sighting systems. Ooh, is Stalker gonna get hit by that? No, it doesn't appear to be. 
Shugart and don't get shot now just holding out here. These sighting systems for these weapons uh, that you would fire at ranges like 200 meters typically take that into account. So those weapons are typically sighted for like 200 meters. Like uh, the M249 is sighted for 2, 4, 6, 8, uh, 100 meters. Other LMGs, similar uh, things, except for maybe the RPK. Um, is an LMG that's probably sighted for below 200 meters, just because it's the same basic sight systems. Uh, Razor taking a peek here at Shookheart. Grenades go off and Sugar has the bandage. Don't get shot. Being shot from the east. He's taking a bullet. And Cyclone moving up here. Oh yeah, I hear him. I hear him. They're bandaged. Oh, I guess that's actually it. I don't see anyone else. Um, looks like uh, they got died. And that's it. GG. Round two of the night is done. Thank you guys very much for coming out and watching.